year ago, my husband Matt and I sold everything we own and moved our family and our business to Puerto Rico. just to own one designer bag and now I help thousands of women build their collections. Follow along on our unique journey as we grow our seven figure business to eight figures and beyond. Welcome to season one of Richport. All right, we are heading to the airport. We're about five minutes away. We're heading to pick my parents up here in Puerto Rico. They're not big travelers. They're kind of homebodies to be honest with you, but I got them to come. So we're gonna plan some activities and have a fun little trip this week. And of course my mom's excited to see the boys, so that'll be fun to get a little break. This is like their first time out of like Texas. Yeah, so like they've gone years. to like Arizona and Oklahoma, places like that, but they haven't been somewhere tropical um, in like an actual vacation since their honeymoon. So it'll be exciting to watch their faces on when they see some things. So we are um, heading over the bridge and We'll be at the airport in a few minutes. What do you think of Puerto Rico so far, Dad? Puerto Rico's uh, got some good parts and some bad parts. <laughs> What's the bad parts? Um, uh, I, I didn't think on that one a bit. <laughs> Did you see an iguana? Uh, yeah, and I saw a lizard about that long. It wasn't an iguana, though. What do you think of the iguana? Iguana? Um, I thought it was kind of weird seeing a big lizard. <laughs> Is it kind of a dinosaur, basically? Yeah. Mom, your favorite part's the kids? The kids, of course. You and Matt and the kids. My friend at church said that's the reason she came. <laughs> Got some fun footage we'll put together a video for y'all of your time here. Yeah. Memory. When's the last time you've been somewhere tropical outside of uh, Texas? 36 years and three months. Right? Dad's trying to find a Banks beer. Banks, man, it's Banks beer, I remember. Because you've asked me a few times. Uh, good beer.
Old San Juan, one of our favorite places in Puerto Rico. We brought my parents here to show them around for the day and we're just gonna pop in some old shops and check it out. But it's beautiful, the scenery, the texture, the architecture, it's beautiful, so. to Old San Juan with me today is of course a crossbody because it's hot out here and I wanted to be hands free. I didn't want to have to have a bunch of stuff on my shoulders so I brought this Musette Tango and this is a simple flat bag that opens up and I just have some tissues and my phone and I think I have keys in there and that's about it so I didn't carry a lot down today. Just something easy to have on while we're walking around in this such high heat today. I'm like, it's uh, quite a hot day out today. Bobo's my little burner. So we have you drinking a Medalla? Uh, Medallia. Medallia? The, uh, the unofficial beer of Puerto Rico. Unofficial? Is it unofficial? <laughs> I don't think I it's official. Official. It's official. You got a lot of signs that say Medallia on it. It's pretty close. Medalla? <laughs> I think I got water in my beer. I got beer in the water.
everybody doing? Chilling? <gasps> Whoa! Brother just living his best life. and find sea glass and I found a sand dollar I'll show y'all but it was I reached down I grabbed something and it was alive and it was so nasty and I know it's kind of mean but people do it all the time we put it up there to dry out to take it home as a souvenir so don't hate me <laughs> what'd you Why find Kimmy what's happening to me what'd you find that's ah! second one, second one. it's so nasty I'm gonna throw up <laughs> what'd you find this sand dollar but it's so gross because it's alive and look at the hairs are moving on it those are risky. Uh, ah, 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 why does this keep happening to me? And I'm not even being dramatic. This is so nasty. Do y'all want to keep one? And then I'm done. I'm getting out for the rest of the day. Okay, so we finally got in the mail from Amazon our updated bookcase shelving system for us to display our bags a little bit better for when we go live on TikTok and Instagram. So I'm spending my Sunday afternoon getting this together and uh, we'll see how it goes, see how long it takes me. Keep dropping this. <laughs> if you drop it again, you'll forever be known as Butterfingers on our YouTube channel. <laughs> Matt, you have dropped that 14 times. I've been counting. What do you have to say for yourself? I get my life together. Something. It's a good thing I'm not in construction. <laughs> Fired. <laughs> it I already did a decent amount of it and then of course I'll do some reorganizing as I go but it's gonna be a fun night tonight with a whole new display unit I'm excited oh let me show you let me show you size wise I will say I think I think the leather one is slightly larger on the inside like maybe fits a little bit more stuff here's the inside it's um, just a Fairly large open compartment with a zipper and a slip pocket on the other side. And then it does magnetically close right here. Black nylon is the best, or nylon in general is the best, because if you spill something on it, you can really just wipe it away. It has gold hardware, gold tone hardware, and then it does have these top handles. We are going to be packing up bags today. If you're enjoying our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and let us know which bag your favorite was.